got a chance to play Bandon Crossing Golf Course, which is just down the road from the Bandon Dunes Golf Resort. The place doesn't get quite the fanfare that that place does, but I thoroughly enjoyed myself here. Hit my first tee shot here, a little bit to the right, but these fairways were rather large on a few of the holes. The second shot I end up hitting a bad shot, goes a little long to the right, leaving myself a difficult chip up the hill here, and it lands on a down slope and runs off the green a little bit. I'm putting it from here, this is for par, it's a decent little lag up here, and tap in for a bogey. Hit a great tee shot here on number two, and just started up the left side and worked itself right into the middle of the fairway. That'll work. I think it had just under 100 yards left of the hole. Hitting a wedge from here and hit a nice great shot. wedge. Took two yeah, skips and stopped about six feet from the hole, leaving myself a decent shot at birdie here. A birdie putt just slips in on the left side didn't want to give it for to me. birdie yeah, to get back right. to even par. Tee shot on number three is another one right down the middle, leaving myself a decent second shot here. Uh, I believe I'm hitting nine iron from here, and now I'm coming just a touch short of the green, but right on line with the pin. My third shot here, I'm just using my favorite club, my 60 degree wedge, chipping it up. Chipped it up pretty close, I think to about a foot, foot and a half was able to make this par putt. Hole four is a dog leg left par five. End up kind of making the hole a little longer than it should be. Kind of pushed it out to the right. Another one of these large fairways though, so I was safe in the fairway. Just trying to lay up the six iron here. End up going a little more right than I wanted. And nearly go into the thick brush, but the wind kind of held it back third shot here was absolutely horrible. I catch it really heavy. It's kind of some thick grass. Fortunate that it didn't go into the bushes, but I blocked myself out, so I just have to chip out here, give myself a look at the, the green again. From here, I thought I hit a good chip, but it just rolled all the way through to the back edge. I debated for a long time whether or not to chip it or putt it. Ended up going with the putter, and I come up really short. This putt never really got there. It was just kind of a disaster of a hole from the start. So got back to back par fives here. Tee shot kind of heads out to the right a little bit. Another one of these wide fairways. The second shot is kind of a blind downhill shot. I'm just trying to lay up to a number. I leave myself in decent position for my third shot. I don't think I accounted for the downhill on this though. Because I hit a really great shot. Looked like it was all over the flag, but ends up going just a touch long. This is another position where I end up going with the putter, and I wish I had went with my wedge. Came up well short. I have this to save par, and just miss on the left edge. Tap in for a bogey after three decent shots to get to that position. So downhill par three on number six. I hit a great six iron here just up under the hole. I think I left myself seven or eight feet for birdie. When I was standing over this putt, I didn't really read this as an uphill putt. I didn't take that into account when I hit it. I come up well short. Just trying to finish up here without getting in this guy's way. It's a really nice guy, local guy from the area. Helped us out tremendously with course knowledge <laughs> since we had never played it before. Love to say nice shot though. This was probably the narrowest tee shot on the course. Started up the left side and worked its way into the middle. The second shot, however, up the hill, ball above my feet, absolutely terrible shot. Just kind of hooked it up the hill a little bit, left myself in the right hand rough, uphill, hit a wedge, got it up onto the green, but I was a long way from the hole. Have this for a miracle par, give it a good run just goes past the hole about three feet on the right hand side. Got this comebacker for bogey. Hit another really nice tee shot here on number eight on this dog leg left par four. Kind of rolled out just a little bit. 
kind of in the first cut of rough, hit a six iron from here, a little bit of a fade, end up just right of the green, almost pin high, delicate little chip, put it to about four feet, and make the par putt. Take another par. Hole nine's a pretty straightforward par three Big here. Shot. It's playing 145. I think I hit seven iron with the wind. Ended up just left of the flag. Give my birdie putt no chance. Leave myself fairly decent putt for par and the dreaded three putt bogey. Tee shot here on number 10. I hit it fairly high and it just kind of stalled out in the wind. Middle of the fairway, but a good ways back for my second shot. It's kind of a blind shot up over the hill. Hit a decent shot, but I knew it was starting to leap to the right a little bit, trying to get a good view of it. Third shot here, I make a decent chip here with my 60 degree wedge. Takes a couple of skips up and hits the flag stick and nearly goes in for a birdie, but ricochets off to tap in range. Not sure if it would have stayed on the green had it went past the flag. End up hitting an 8 iron here on number 11, thinking there was a little bit more wind up there than there actually was on this particular tee shot. And I end up in the bunker behind the green. Make a nice decent out from the bunker here. Leave myself about 3, 3.5 feet for a par. I'm able to make the par putt here to convert a nice up and down out of the bunker. End up finding another fairway here with my tee shot, number 12, another par 5, playing a little bit uphill. Second shot here, I'm just laying up here with a hybrid, leaving myself with wedge distance in on my third shot. I'm left with just under 100 yards on my third shot. End up hitting a nice wedge, but it goes just a tad long. On this putt, you can see about halfway there, a gust of wind comes up and blows it off course. I'm not sure that it ever would have went in, but it was obvious that it blew it off course. This was probably my best drive of the day. I absolutely connected well with this one. It ended up just right of the tree down there. However, my second shot was not that great. Kind of blocked it out to the right. I thought it was going to end up going long in the trees, but it ended up staying short. Hit a little wedge from there and actually kind of a terrible pull. Left myself a long way for a birdie here. Never really get it online. I have this to save par. Make a decent long putt to save a par. 14's another downhill par 3. End up pushing it a little bit to the right. But fortunately it kind of opens up down there to the right. I was a little bit short as well. So I have this chip. I have to go up and over a bunker. Make a decent little chip out to the left here. Give myself a shot from about 15-20 feet for a par save. And just come up slightly short. But I'll take a bogey from that position. Tee shot here on 15 was easily the worst of the day. I hit this one pretty far right. Ended up in the tall grass the first time that I've been in this tall grass all day. Didn't know how clean it would come out of this stuff. End up catching it really clean. Kind of like a fly or lie actually. Ends up long of the green and to the right. End up stubbing my chip here a little bit. Come up well short. Have a decent length for par here. Give it a good run. But just not online. Tap in for a bogey. 16 is a short par 4. I'm sure it's drivable for some people. End up hitting a decent tee shot. Ends up just a little bit left of the fairway in the first cut of rough. End up hitting a wedge, making clean contact, but I must have just misjudged the distance because I flew the green. I have to chip up from behind the green, make a decent little chip from there, have this left to save a par, and end up draining it for par. Hole 
hole 17 is a short par 3. You gotta clear this ravine though. End up hitting a wedge and it just hit a wall of wind up there and end up coming up short and in the thick rough. End up chipping up from there. Have this to save par and end up coming up short with this putt. Tap in for a bogey. Hit another decent tee shot here on the last hole. It's another par 5 with a pretty wide fairway. From here I'm trying to clear a ravine with my second shot and end up catching a little heavy. Thought it was going to go in but ends up just slightly short. Still a long way back though so I'm hitting a 4 iron here I think. Just trying to run it down the hill. It's my fourth shot hitting a wedge from there. Hit a decent wedge just left of the pin. And I have this to save a par and a decent round and just miss it on the left edge. Tap in for a bogey. Great ball. Great ball. Nice putt. Ah, oh, man. Oh. Get in there. Get in there. Ah! Oh, great putt. Oh, beautiful. Nice roll. Oh, beautiful putt. <laughs> If you're ever in Bandon, Oregon, definitely check out this course. We really enjoyed it. A really fun course, really beautiful. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.